What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 3 video. So in this one, we are outside of Smith Casey's uh, garage and essentially what we're doing here is we're looking for my dad. But I think at the same time we're looking... What are we looking for? Oh wait, what am I doing? Oh uh, yeah, we're looking for Vault 112 which for some reason is inside this garage. So we're definitely going to be going inside here and trying to figure out where exactly my father is. So... If you're excited for this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go in, uh, go on in there. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and take dog meat inside here. Let's get my gun out just in case. Oh. Uh, should I even... Alright, fuck it. Goodbye, buddy. I'm willing to bet there's more rad roaches around here somewhere. Uh, that doesn't sound like a freaking rad roach. Oh, it's a freaking mole rat, damn it. Alright, no big deal. I can shoot his leg. What? Had a 95% chance of hitting him, and it didn't even hit him. Looks like I'm gonna blow off your head. Night, night, homie. Oh, there's still another one around here. I'll take this, uh... Nuka-Cola Quantum, though. Where is he? He's around here somewhere. Later, homeboy. Nah, I wanna... I wanna shoot him in his head. So much more satisfying when you blow somebody's head off. <laughs> I sound like some sort of a lunatic, don't I? Wait a minute. Is there another one, or am I tripping? Gun cabinet. I'll take that. I don't want the actual gun. Same thing with that. Alright. What are we doing here? Oh, I'll take... Uh, I'll take the stim pack. Um... Alright. There's definitely something down here. And, of course, it's another mole rat. Let's blow off his head. Oh, that critical was unnecessary, bro. But it's all good. Can I get another headshot, baby? Why, yes, I can. Look at another critical strike. I mean, I don't mind doing criticals on them. Oh, no, nope, I'm definitely not trying to hit up dog meat. What do we have here? It's awfully strange to- Whoa, there it is! Look at that! We definitely have Vault 112. Oh, snap! Hell yeah. Now let's get our gun ready because you never know what's in here. I want to look in here first. Absolutely nothing. Get out of my way, dog meat. Alright. It's awfully quiet, man. It's like one of those. Welcome to Vault 1. Oh shit. President. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. <laughs> Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, Please proceed down the stairs to the main floor, so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. A tranquility oh, I got a Vault 112. Uh, outfit. Let me see. Vault 112. I want to wear the actual Vault 112 one. There it is. It's full condition, too. That look ridiculous with the freaking combat uh, helmet and this. Alright, there's got to be something... Around here, where are we going? I'm guessing this way. Oh, fuck. Hello. 
Nothing. Sure. Activate. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah, dude. I can sit on it and everything. Am I supposed to do this? I think so. Very futuristic. Well, that place looks very tranquil. <laughs> I love this place. Dog meat is waiting outside of Vault 101. Aw, I lost my companion. Oh, I'm ready. Look at me, I'm a little boy. Hello. Oh, hello there. I think you should go speak with Betty. She's waiting for you. On the playground, I think. Best to hurry up. Um... Sure? What can I do for you, sport? I didn't even talk to you, first of all. Where am I? <laughs> Such a kidder. You're on Tranquility Lane, of course. Where else would you be? Canada? Um... Nice day, isn't it? Of course it is. It's America, isn't it? Hell yeah! America! Uh, have you seen my dad by any chance? Nope. Afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. You'll find him. I, well, I know I will. Uh, what can you tell me about the neighborhood? You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Everyone's very friendly. Even old Lady Dithers. Though she's lost most of her marbles. Um... Uh, this is what? Some kind of computer, uh, computer simulation? Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Sure, why not? Okay. Alright, let's go find Betty. They said it was, uh, she, oh, there she is. Ooh, dog. Doc. Good doggy. Alrighty. Hey, uh, Betty, what's up? Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Uh, so where am I? This is Tranquility Lane. We all live here, and now so do you. Uh, what? I don't live here. You do now. You live here until I say you don't. I know. Why don't we play a game? Um. What the hell is going on here? We're going to play a game now, silly. That's what's going on. Uh, I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Gee, I don't know. What's he like? Um... He's an older guy, around 50 or so. And he's new here too, isn't he? Oh boy, he's your daddy, huh? I had no idea. That makes this even more fun. Let's play. Um... A game? Yeah, sure, why not? I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. What? That's crazy. No, Timmy's the one who's crazy. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come tell me. Maybe we can talk some more then. I'm not gonna make the fucking boy cry. What the hell? Let's go talk to him first. Uh, who's Timmy anyways? Timmy. Oh, I mean, I guess I could follow the map marker, huh? Oh, he has his own little lemonade stand. Hiya. Let's see. Hi there. I'm Timmy. Wanna play? I'm not saying that. Alright, nah. There's gotta be another way. I don't want to make a random little boy cry. This, I talked hey to this man, guy already, sport. huh? How's it going? Uh, I'm not gonna talk to him about Timmy because that is just gonna lead down. Hold on, who are you? You're the mom. All right, I'm not gonna okay. talk to this family at all because it's just gonna lead me down a path where I have to make the boy cry. I'm pretty sure that's gonna make me lose karma, and I'm not trying to do all that. Good. What's up, Roger? Good day to you. Uh, have you seen my dad? He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find him soon. Um... 
What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. If you say so. Later. It doesn't even seem Hello. like anybody has some interesting well, things. Have you seen my dad? Your dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. They're literally all saying the same thing. Let me see. None of this is real. It's all some kind of crazy experiment. Oh, you're such a kidder. Sure. All right. Uh, there's got to be someone around here that's going to give me some information. Hello. Hi, Mr. Bill. Hi, you kiddo. What's the good word? Uh, have you seen my dad? Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. Uh... It's a pretty convincing simulation. Is that so? Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real to me. Uh, later. Take care now. We're running out of choices here. Simpson res residence. Hi. Well, hi there. Um... Pretty convincing simulation, isn't it? Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not in the mood for jokes. Later. <laughs> Nobody here is gonna help me out. Oh, there's somebody upstairs. Hi. Good day to you. Uh, where are you at? Uh, this is what? Some kind of computer simulation? Computer what now? Why don't you go find Timmy and have a nice game of catch? No, because I'll make him cry, and I don't want to make him cry. Now. Nice try, though, lady. All right, let's go into the next house. We've got to be running out of choices here, dude. I'm pretty sure we've already went into most of these people's houses. Hey, what's up, robot? Henderson Estate is in tip-top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day. I don't think anyone's in here. Okay, I can't use this. I don't think anyone's home. I don't see anybody on the little thing on the bottom. Alright. So no one's home. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. Finally it someone's telling me end. something. The suffering must end. Alright, so... Exactly. Finally someone who knows what's going on. How do I get out of here? We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. What? Who? What are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. Wait, what fail-safe? What the hell are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. All right. In the abandoned house. I don't know which is the abandoned house. I guess we'll just keep going right until we find an abandoned house. That's the Dithers residence. That was old lady Dithers that we just talked to. So that can't be it. Alright. What's in here? Abandoned house. We found it. Um. Alright, where's the terminal? No terminal. Yeah, there's no terminal here. Um. I don't even have. Here, let's take a quick nap. Just so we can get full health. I don't have. There's no terminal here. Wait, what? Just a bunch of junk on the bottom floor. Activate... Activate radio? Pitcher? 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alright. Alright, so these two didn't have... Okay, so now it says no. So I think it's in order. So it went this way, this way, and then we went to the cinder block next, but that didn't work. So let's try this guy. So that works. Um, that, no. Alright, so, so far we have that, that, that. Now let's try going back. Oh, that works. Alright, I'm gonna go... Let's try this. Um, bottle? Okay, so, no. Alright, so we had radio, pitcher, gnome. I think we had the pitcher? Alright, let's try the cinder block. Alright, that works. Gnome. Uh, we haven't used this in a while, so let's use this. Oh my god, we did it! We did it! <laughs> nice. Vault 112 uh, Auxiliary Command Terminal. Alright, let's see. Uh, the Chinese Invasion, hell nah. So, ac access version control. Uh, display current version control. Uh, exceptions granted for pod 0001, manual override for pods disabled, remote access allowed, user S. Braun has privileges, um, updated neural inputs to override memory, there's a lot of technical stuff. Previous versions? Um, alright, sure, why not? Alright, back. Alright, let's read, uh, entry the lagoon, alright. I finally come to the realization that the Toucan Lagoon simulation has run its course. I'm tired of the breathe, uh, beating, beating sun and ceaseless pounding of the lagoon's waves upon the shore. I no longer take pleasure in watching Simpson wither away from scurry or hearing news bum screams as he devoured, as he's devoured by the Mako shark. <laughs> oh fuck, this guy's crazy. Uh, I'm quite simply bored. It's time to reset the simulation once again. I haven't been skiing in ages. Damn, he must have some serious access control here. Alright, uh, Slalom Chalet. Yesterday, Dither slipped on a chalice icy stairs, went airborne, and managed to impale herself in the... Holy shit, dude. In the route... Iron fence. Uh, it was spectacular and completely and utterly random. Is there anything more sublime than the bold crimson on fresh fallen snow? It was almost enough to make me reconsider a change of scenery, but not quite. But not quite. Twenty-three years is long enough vacation in the Swiss Alps. I long for something more domestic so they were in that specific simulation for 23 years wow a uh, tranquility lane so this one uh i have surprised myself i find tri uh, tranquility lane comforting although distinctly american it somehow reminds me of cronark the town of my childhood uh, childhood there's a beautiful irony in this particular simulation as well the residents here are naturally at home naturally safe when I toy with them uh, their stubborn illusions is suddenly broken it's that much more satisfying I do believe we shall all remain here in tranquility lane for a very long time a very long time indeed well, that's fucked up um, all right so it looks like this is all right let's ask all right, let's check out what this says um, Chinese fail, uh, fails initiate. I don't want to initiate it. So fail safe program documentation. Dr. Braun, uh, here is the revised code for the military training program you've expressed interest in. I'm not very. I'm not sure exactly what you want with it, uh, and I stress that this program was never 
designed to be run with civilian equipment. Frankly, I don't expect any system you have access to uh, can't even ru uh, run it. But if you can uh, run this program with the fail saves off, so this is the fail safe. As requested, your real world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. So if they die in the simulation, they'll die in the real world? Damn, dude, that's fucked up. It goes without saying that officially I denied your request, General Constantine Chase. Hey, that's the guy from uh, uh, Operation Anchorage. I remember doing that many years ago. Uh, damn, dude. Simulate communist. Okay, so. Extreme caution. Uh, Dr. Bronze entry failsafe. There are days I consider finally pulling the plug, as it were, uh, and putting a permanent end to both this simulation and my life. That it is the reason I requested installation of General Chase's Chinese Invasion Program after all. By disabling the failsafe protocols, I have ensured that each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if their in-simulation avatars are killed. Real world death, end of simulation, the perfect failsafe. At least it would have been uh, if not for my own misjudgment. I knew when the simulation first went online that the secondary uh, the secondary safeties, those established for all vault tech and military personnel, would prevent my own real world demise in the event of a fail safe execution. In the end, I would kill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way, or so I thought. It is true the failsafe would scare the living hell out of every resident in Tranquility Lane and lead to their brutal deaths, but then what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulation, and other avatars could create, uh, would be driven by the simulation's AI. Routines, not actual living, thinking human subjects. Where's the fun in tormenting them a machine? And so the release of the real world subjects is more than they deserve. More that I could bear. They could, they'd be dead and I'd be left here in Tranquility Lane alone. Tragically bored for all eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. I think this is shit, dude. So basically, it's either help out Betty, aka Stanis Van Braun, or initiate the Chinese invasion, killing all the people in the vault in real world, not just in the simulation. They'll die in real life, but the only person that would stay alive would be Stanis Van Braun. He'll be in here by himself with a bunch of machines. So it's either, it's like one of those moral dilemmas, it's like, what do you choose? Either kill everybody in real life, but you stop their, in, their, their torment of all eternity, or kill them, even though you're killing them, you're technically allowing them to not be tortured anymore. I'm gonna go with this Chinese invasion. Uh, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna go with the Chinese inv invasion. This is gonna fucking suck, dude. Uh, proceed with caution. Did it, did it not work? <coughs> oh, excuse me, I just sneezed. Um, but I got a lot of positive karma, it looks like. Oh, fuck! Damn. That's brutal. Did they kill everybody? That was insane, dude. I think they literally killed everybody. That's insane. Can't make Timmy cry no more if he's dead. Let's talk... Oh, there's a door. Let's talk to Betty. She didn't die. Oh, but then we know it's because of Stannis von Braun. Do you realize what you've done? Ew. You've triggered the failsafe. Ruined everything. 
The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell, alone! You ruined everything! Everything! Um... You're welcome? Uh... Well, I already know the answer to this because we read it. Uh, she can't reset everything. She can reset it, but not the people. It'll just be robots. Uh, I put these people out of their misery. You're getting exactly what you deserve. You've taken them all from me. You've left me with nothing. It's not fair. Nobody to play with ever again. Dude, you've been torturing these people. Do you realize? You ruined. All right, Aubrey. Let's see. I'm calling the shots now. You? No, I. I am the creator of this world. Feel so lost, so all alone. Good. I came here for my father. Now where is he? He's been right here the whole time, and you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. So that explains why the dog's name is Doc. So my father's okay? I can get him back? Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. Good. You deserve nothing less. Freaking psychopath. Tell me about the uh, Gek. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology and ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? Okay, so tell me about this place. It is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. Um. So, tell me exactly who you are. Who you really are. My name is Stanislaus Braun. I'm a vault -Tec scientist. I created this simulation for vault -Tec, but for myself as well. It was my own design. My own perfection. A better reality than any other. Far greater than my work on the Gek. So you did both of them? If for a freaking psychopath, this dude is uh, a freaking genius. So I'm, uh, so I'm free to leave? Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything. I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Later. Run along now. You literally deserve nothing less. Um. Hi, doggy. So I guess I can't talk to him yet. Let's go ahead and get out of here and find out what happens. Because technically my dad should be able to come out too, right? Oh my god, there he is. Dad. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but, but what are you doing here? Um, what am I doing here? What are you doing here? You could have been killed, guy. Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. Did you get the information that you needed, at least? I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure the components of that technology are just what we need. What we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. So you need to get back to Rivet City then? I can't do this on my own. Madison and Dr. Lee has a team of scientists working at Rivet City. They'll have to help. The facility hasn't been used in years. There'll be enough work for a good number of people, and it will take us a while. The sooner I get to Rivet City, the sooner Madison and I can get to work. So what about me? What am I supposed to do then? Yes, what about you? 
Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. Um, You left me there without even saying goodbye. What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The Overseer would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. Okay, I'll uh, let's head for Rivet City then. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Um. Can we just talk for a minute? Of course. What's on your mind? Uh, let's see here. So how could you just leave me like that, man? What the hell were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. So, let's see. Um, so why would you put yourself at risk like this? Uh, do you have some sort of a death wish or something? Actually, no. Is this about mom? Are you trying so hard because of what happened to her? Oh, my son. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. I think I understand. I'm glad we talked, Dad. So am I, son. While this isn't what I have in mind, it's good have you with me uh what exactly is project purity anyways it started as an idea really <clears throat> remember the bible passage your mother loves so much free clean water for everyone what a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the wastes over time that idea took the form of a purifier not like the one in the vault though this one was gigantic capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. Um... So what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. Okay then, um, so how did Mom really die? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years, but your mother, I've never lied to you about what happened, not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. That's pretty sad, though. So, what's the big deal about water anyways? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's go. Be careful, my son. All right. Hold up really quick. I want this at 25 so that I can... Uh, I want this at 25 so I can basically... Uh, Disarm the bomb at Megaton 
And then I guess the rest I'll put this over here. Alright, let's see. Hmm. This is always a hard choice. Strong back. Level 8? Why can't I get strong back? Um, I'm not sure. Scrounger. Scrounger does sound like a good idea, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Scrounger. All right, yeah, we'll go with Scrounger. For now, wait, hold on. We are going to actually run. I'm going to follow him the way out of the vault. But I want to go to Megaton and disarm that bomb. All right, looks like we're already out. Wait, really quick. Uh, before I forget, I want to put my combat armor back on. Wait, I need to put my weapon on too. What? What's going on here? There we go. Actually, first things first, we should probably go to Vault 111. Or, excuse me, wrong Fallout game. Vault 101. And take advantage of the fact that it's so close to Megaton so that we can pick up dog meat and then go to Megaton. All right. Well, thanks, Dan, for letting me out of here. But uh, I will have to meet you to at Ribbon City. All right? I'm sure you can take care of yourself. I mean, fuck, dude. You've lived this long. Vault 101. Dog meat. Where are you at? There you are. Come on, buddy. Let's go. All right? And I could technically just run there because it's so close. I'd rather fast travel though. You want something? Nope. All right, let's go ahead and uh, rest for. We'll do ten hours. That way, by the time uh, I disarm the bomb, it's already gonna be daytime. I hope I did this right. You looking for the mayor? Shut the up, Sims. All right. Uh, attempt. To disarm the bomb. Congratulations. You have successfully disarmed the bomb. Woohoo! Alright, let's go talk to Sims. Sims, Sims, I got something to tell you. I must be getting slow in my old age. Thanks for saving my hide there. Then you're barely telling me about that? I freaking took out uh whatever his name is a long time ago. But anyways, um, uh... Wait, what? Alright, let's let's try to initiate the talk with him once more. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. I did. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Cool. A hundred caps, that's all I gave me? My Megaton house key. Uh, property deed Megaton house. Hell yeah. Alright, if I remember correctly, I think it's over here. Finally got my own freaking place, which means I can finally unload all of my items. Nice to make your acquaintance. Wait. I'm your new robo butler. Looks like I only had one. Alright, um, let's go ahead and we'll put... I mean, I guess I'll put the repellent stick in there. Uh, Vault 101 armored jumpsuit. I really like that Vault 101 armored jumpsuit, by the way. Um, environmental or environment suit. Um, we'll put the power armor. It weighs a lot, so I'll put it away. Shady hat's a unique. Tunnel snakes outfit. Vault 101. Vault 112. All right. 
all of this. I'm not sure if it's unique at all. Uh, I guess I'll put that in there. This doesn't give me anything spectacular. Just one DR. Alright, let me see. Hold on. Uh, well, there's no real way to look at it, huh? Alright, well, luckily, we found our own place now. Which means we can always come over here. And take a nap at our own... Will. We definitely need to... Spruce the place up, though. Alright, there's nothing in here. It's just some random room. But, that's gonna have to do it for this video, you guys. I'm actually really, really happy with the progress that we're making here in this game. In the next video, we're gonna be going over to... to uh, back to Rivet City. And talking to my dad, who is in turn talking... Or wanting to talk to uh, Dr. Lee about Project Purity. So, it should be pretty interesting, to say the least. Now that we finally found him. And Dr. Lee's probably gonna be ecstatic. Because you can tell there's something there between them not necessarily between them but like you can tell she cares for him pretty extensively so uh with james aka my dad of course but if you enjoyed this video do me a huge favor drop a like on the video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces